Hi, Hi, Dustin. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, congratulations on the film, and thank you so much for taking the time out to talk to me. It's a real pleasure. I got to go to the premiere, actually, and it was a, <laughs> a joy to watch. So, oh, thank really? You. Yeah, that was such a special night. Thanks for being yeah. a part of it. It's nice to connect with people in person, too, so that was fun. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> so, um, I guess just to start things off, I was wondering if you'd take me behind um, the genesis of your involvement with Chung chi and what made you like fall in love with the character in the first place. I know he's been around since, like, the 70s, but he's one of the more, like, underrated underappreciated marvel characters so what made you fall in love and yeah <laughs> get to bring him on the screen uh i i really really connected with um the the core of the story uh, of a of a complicated relationship between the uh, father and a son in the context of of this genre and it was a, a a theme that i i think could be very relatable whether you are uh, of Chinese descent or Asian American or really any 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 ethnicity, I think it's a theme that can resonate with anybody. So that was the core of the of the the journey that we wanted to concentrate on from the from the beginning. And I'm really excited with the character that we created. And um, this is one of the bigger, like more mainstream titles in your filmography so far. Did you ever like in your wildest dreams think you'd be like, oh, I'm going to direct a Marvel movie. And how much fun was it to kind of get to direct this like kind of big scale blockbuster level kind of film? I mean, growing up, I, I didn't even have it in my brain to imagine that I would direct any movie, um, mm -hmm. let alone a, a Marvel movie. Um, I also didn't, wasn't ever able to imagine that we would one day have a superhero that were, that looked like me or had a similar background as me, it's someone that I could choose to dress up like on Halloween. Um, so to be able to to be a part of the team that that created this this character for a new generation was extremely special for me. Mm -hmm. And obviously, like you mentioned, this movie is like groundbreaking in a lot of ways, especially for like mainstream Asian American representation, especially since the MCU is so popular over the world. And I know with representation, though, comes like the unfair burden of trying to be like everything to everyone. Did you ever feel that kind of pressure while working on the film? And if you did, how did you like work through those feelings or, or what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, on, on any movie, you can't please everybody. Um, you, the, I, I try to imagine who I'm making the movie for. Um, in, in this case, I, I, was, I was kind of imagining my eight-year-old self um, and, and trying to create a, a character that um, I, I would be able to relate to, that I would be able to connect with that journey. Um, I, I had a really wonderful time creating all of the characters in this movie and, and making sure that they all felt real and human and, and represented um, people that were like my family, that were like my friends and felt felt real and authentic in that way. And it, it was really fun. It was good to see too. <laughs> yeah. and, um, kind of shifting gears. So Sean and Kay's relationship in the movie kind of challenges that old like heterosexual notion that men and women can't be like platonic friends. Was that an intentional thing? And can you talk about crafting that dynamic with Aquafina and Simu and what it was like just watching that friendship chemistry unfold in front of the camera? Yeah, we, we typically don't really see that on screen, which is weird because uh, my, I, I have, I have so many friends who are female and strictly platonic, but, but we're also very close and really care, care for each other. And um, Dave Callahan, my one of our co-writers is, is the same. So we had that, we, we had a lot of girlfriends to, to model after at that type of relationship. And it was fun to put that on screen and kind of strange to us that we haven't seen mm -hmm. that very much because i think it's a it's a pretty it's it's more it's more normal in real life than than we typically see on screen thank god i want more friendships like that in the movies <laughs> and um the mcu has been getting more and more diverse in recent years there's been titles like black panther captain marvel i know loki just announced loki was bisexual and the eternals that's coming up uh, later in the fall is set to like reveal the mcu's first gay hero and uh with shang chi 
uh, Asian, young Asian people get to see themselves as protagonists. So I guess just what's like the overall feeling like knowing like you're part of this like wave of creators that is doing like big things for young people who never saw themselves represented on screen in the past. Because even myself, I couldn't imagine like an Asian, <laughs> an Asian yeah. lead in a Marvel hero back then. So that's wild. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, what, what what Marvel Studios is doing, I, I think it it's really, I think it's it's really cool that the most successful studio in Hollywood um, has made it uh, one of their greatest goals to to continue to tell stories that reflect the the ethnic ethnic background of their fans, um, and it's. It is something that I hope other studios and and other uh, producers in in the industry see that 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 is the wave of the future. That if we're going to continue to thrive as an as an industry, we need to we need to tell stories that reflect the people around us. And now that more of those doors are like slowly but slowly, surely <laughs> starting to open and like more filmmakers and artists from diverse backgrounds and perspectives are starting to get their shine. What kinds of stories are you looking forward to seeing the most? Maybe like not just in the MCU, but also like beyond like wider scope. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to what I'm going to explore next. I never exactly know until it hits me. But there are so many stories to be told. And, and right now, um, there, there's still so many stories of, of voices and communities that we've never seen on screen that I think deserve to be on screen. And those are the types of stories that I, I'm really attracted to. Um, are not, not only for the, the purpose of representation, but also artistically, because we just have never seen it before. So there's, it's such a, a, fresh, a fresh subject to explore. And exciting too. I can't wait for see what the future holds. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Well, uh, that's all the time I have left, Desmond. But thank you so so much again, and congratulations! I can't wait for people to see it. I know they're gonna eat this up and love it. So, congrats again. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. All right. You too.